Breaking news, breaking news, ex police officer Nomia Rosemary Doki appeared at Pan Bridge Court. What what you? Skebengu, Skebengu, Skebengu. Today's story is about Nomi Rosemary Love, who has been dubbed the most dangerous woman in South Africa. And it might sound like something out of a Netflix crime thriller series. But as the saying goes, truth is often stranger and sometimes scarier than fiction. Noami Rosemary was born in Tembisa, South Africa in 1978 and then joined the South African police years later and then was posted at Tembisa police station. She was later promoted to the rank of a sergeant. This woman that everyone thought had her life in order was also a gambling addict who sometimes would leave work to avoid loan sharks who were looking for her at her workplace. She had money problems and when you have money problems, you will do anything for it. Her condemnation came after a video footage revealed her in 2021 telling a hitman, you know, how her sister and five children should be murdered. She told them to set the house on fire so that the insurance company can pay her for it. There were a series of sting operations which was to nail her. You know, initially it meant nothing and so it did not really trigger any suspicion until this issue started occurring more and more. She was, you know, involved in so many killings and she was cashing out on these people, which kind of like raised suspicion. Her first victim was her cousin, who in March 2012 was found beaten to death. And for her death, uh, Rosemary received 131,000 rands in insurance claim. In June of 2013, her sister was found dead by a combination of poisoning and strangulation. So then, Rosemary claimed 717,421 rands in insurance for her death. Then by June of 2013, her niece was also found beaten to death. And again, she claimed 119,840 rounds. <laughs> Then, in October of 2015, her boyfriend and father of her child was also murdered and dumped, you know, somewhere in town with over 80 stab wounds. Then, again, she filed for a claim and she received 131,000 rands in debt policies which she had made in his name. So this woman was out on cashing spree. She was cashing from every member of her family's death and no one really suspected anything until they started to investigate. There was this other gentleman, Mayeni Mashaba, who was also her nephew. And he was found dead in town on April 2017 after having met up with her the day before his mother. So her last victim was Brilliant Mashego, her nephew, who was last seen alive in her company on 22nd of January 2018. And then he was found dead two days later. In court, Rosemary admitted to having taken out funeral policies for him. Then a few months after her life sentence ruling, Rosemary was back in court on 20th of April 2022 on fresh new charges along with other counterparts in the conspiracy. However, for Rosemary, two other charges are also at stake related to an alleged hit attempt on the investigation officers in her case. So the murder conspiracy case has been postponed to May 25th of 2022 because one of the witnesses is pregnant and the court is taking her delivery date into consideration as well as a twist in the story whereby a third party suspect is now involved but is reportedly on the run. The final delay is due to Rosemary not having legal representation. So this case is still growing. It's like every single day new information emerges. Just when the police think they have everything they need, 
the prosecutor, but then something else pops up. It's still an ongoing case, so I might have to update you guys again after the next trial. Thank you for watching and please hit the like and subscribe button so that you can get more updates from me. I also have a TikTok channel where I tell short, scary stories. I know you like that kind. Uh, check out my channel at Stories with Oluchi. Thank you again for watching and have yourself a good day.